Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here with theautomationschool.com. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to message from a Micrologix 1400 to a Micrologix 1100 to send data from one to another over Ethernet. So if you look here, you can see I'm online with my Micrologix 1100 and uh, there's nothing in N70. And I'm over here, I'm offline with my 1400 and I'm going to go ahead and add in a new instruction, the MSG instruction. I'm going to give it an address of MG10 colon 100. And here, I'm going to go ahead and say it's channel 1, the Ethernet channel. I'm going to make it a CPU, a 500 CPU write. I'm going to make the data table address that I'm going to read from BN70. Size and elements, let's do 3. And then we'll send it to N70 in the other controller. And let's give it a routing information file of RI11 colon 0. And now I'll go over here to the multi-hop page and we'll give it the address of my micro 1100, which is 192.168.1.63. Okay, so that is, let's go back in and look, three words from N702 and N70 in the other controller. So let's go ahead and put some values in there. We'll go 111, 222, and 333. Now at this point, I'm going to also add in an XIC to trigger that message every half second. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want this to be a continuous message because if you have too many of those, you can overfill your buffer in the micro and then you'll lose some of your messages. So keep that in mind. Every Allen Bradley PLC has a message buffer and that buffer can only queue up so many messages before it gets full and starts throwing away new requests for messages until there's room in the buffer. So keep that in mind. Every controller has a slightly different uh, parameters and every channel has slightly different parameters of how many messages it can store and queue before new messages start getting disregarded. So it's always a good idea to interlock your messages or to uh, trigger them off of a timer. So in this case, we'll use a timer since it's simple. And uh, with that, we should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and download. Yes, I do want to download, put it in program mode. Now change it back to run and we'll watch over here. And you can see 111222333. So let's go ahead and change those values here and see if they update. So we'll do one. All right, see it got right over there. Two and three. And you can see every half second that message instruction is going and it's because we configured it correctly it goes enable done instead of enable error. If you did something wrong like put the wrong IP address in then you get enable error instead of enable done. And with that said that's the end of this episode. Now if you found this helpful please give me a like and a thumbs up and if you have any questions about anything I did today feel free to ask me over on my free forums theautomationforums.com. And if you know anybody who wants to learn how to program PLCs, send them over to theautomationschool.com and tell them to check out PLC Basics, my course that will teach you everything you need to know to get started using PLCs. And with that, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.